perfect squares. There's two that we're interested in. The first one is a plus b, all squared. It's a perfect square. It's a binomial multiplied by itself. Hence, a plus b, all squared. What's it look like? It's going to look like this, right? Let's actually draw it quickly. I drew a square. Why did I draw a square? Because it's a perfect square. Let's call this A and B. A and B. And so I hope this rings some bells. Right? So ringing bells? You tell me. What's this one here? A squared. What's this one down at the bottom? B squared. B squared. And then what are these two pieces? A They're both, uh, well this one's A times B, and this one's B times A. Same deal, right? Which is why it's the result you recognize. A squared plus how many ABs? Two of them. Plus B squared. Okay? In much the same way, you recognize that A minus B squared is going to be... The only thing that changes is the 2AB in the middle. Okay. Now, how will you prove to yourself that that is true? Hmm. How could you do it? Any suggestions? Don't put squared and just put A minus B and then in another bracket put Just write it like this? Is that what you're suggesting? Uh, yeah, but wouldn't you something else? Yeah, wouldn't that be a plus or minus? The second no, it should be minus. A minus B, A minus B. A minus oh yeah, yeah, so yeah? Right, yeah. So you can just do just like we did before, and you can just expand your terms out. And when you see, if we do our our green and red again, do you see this is going to give us? What is that pair going to give us? It's very good. What about this pair? Look carefully. You you've got to watch that sign, right? Minus A B. Then I can do these two. Minus AB again. But look, this time the last one, double negative, so that's why it's a plus. Are you happy with that? Yes. Okay, great. Now, that's all you need to recognize for squares. So for example, let's change color now again. I'm feeling Christmassy. For example, if I showed you 3x minus 1, all squared. This is a perfect square. Which one is it more like top or bottom? Bottom. It's bottom, subtraction, right? So I'm going to write that as the first one squared. This whole thing, 3x, what happens when you take the whole thing and square it? Very good. So you square both of those pieces. Well caught. Okay. There's a minus here, so there will be a minus there. 2 times each of these things. You put them together. 2 oops, times each of these things. 3x, 1, that's just 3x. Is that okay? I'll simplify that in a second. What ends up on the end? 1 squared. Oi. Oi. That's a plus, sorry. It's a wonky plus. Okay? The b in this case is 1. So I've got a b squared over there, so I'm writing a 1 squared down here. All that's required now is just to tidy up that middle term, minus 6x plus 1. Are you happy with that? Yes. Okay. Now when you look at that, it's just as important to be able to recognize, and this is harder, we said this before, this, have a look, you need to be able to go backwards. Do you remember when we did expanding and factorizing yesterday, and I said expanding is easy, factorizing is harder. When you look at this, I don't know if you immediately think that. I don't. It takes some practice to get that, but that's where we're going to get you to. By having a look at these frequently, you'll recognize, oh, I think that's a square. I think I can work with that. Okay, I need a bit more space, but underneath, no, there it is. Underneath perfect squares, I want you to write, anyone want to guess? It's another kind of binomial. Difference of squares. Difference of squares. Now, I promise this is the last time I'm going to ask you to do it today, but I love the way that you, this can be done with a picture just like we did it before. Can someone tell me what pair of binomials, binomials do I put together to make difference of squares? Does anyone remember it? Anyone else who hasn't said anything today? Oh, yeah. No. So it's like A. 
So what it is, the way it's usually written is A minus B and A plus B. Oh, please, go ahead. Uh, by the way, we learned a fancy name for these things before, inserts. You remember when you've got the same pieces, but they're different by a sign in the middle? It starts with a C. Does anyone remember what they're called? Oh, close. They're called conjugates. Remember that? Conjugates? What's it equal to? So, that bit on the right-hand side... That bit on the right-hand side is where it gets the name difference of squares, right? That's a square, that's a square. You take them away, you'll get the difference. Okay, I love this one. Let's draw what the diagram for this will look like. I want you to look at this thing over here. This thing over here. How would you draw it? Think for a second before I do it. Hmm. Here's how I'm going to do it. I want you can wonder if you can follow this with me. Oh my god. Hmm. I know it's not beautiful, but I wonder if you can imagine and see that this is a way to draw a squared minus b squared. Can you see how it is? Where where are the a's on this diagram? Uh, this and this, right? If they're both a's, then the whole shape, if I had this bit here as well. The whole shape would be a square. Okay. So what does that make this down the bottom? Okay. So that makes this b times b. Are you happy with that? Would it make a difference if you put that as No, it wouldn't make a difference, but it would be slightly different. Hi, Mr. Hobbs. Hi, Mr. Hobbs. Hi, Mr. Hobbs. Hi, Mr. Hobbs. Okay. Now, here's the really fun bit and the tricky bit. You have to think really hard for this. This is what we've just drawn. Stay with me because it'll flash by in a, in a second. That thing on the right is what I've drawn. So my question to you is, where are these on here? This is what we've drawn. Where are these on this diagram? Now, one of them is easy to spot, and one of them is hard. Can anyone spot either of them? Can you see a spot where there's A minus B or A plus B? What do you, what do you reckon, Jacob? Oh, no, I, I just got the, like... I just understand what the bottom line is. Okay, why well, it's B squared. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, Ryan, what do you think? So B D by right side is A and then minus B is back. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. Jake. He gets it too. Ryan just said something helpful, but about half us didn't catch it. Ryan, would you do so kind as to say that again? So on the far right side, you've got the whole length of A, but then you've got the B changing away from it. Yep. Can you see that? Yeah. So this is A, right? Look, it's A over there. That's A. But you've taken away B when you go back up to here. So this thing over here is A minus B. Do you agree? You with me? Okay. Now, hold on a second. You can see A minus B now. Can you see it? Is it even the bottom? But, 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 but. That's only half the picture. Where's A plus B? Where is it? On the top right. I mean the top one. Well, the top one's A, isn't it? Yeah, that's A. It's A. Is it at the bottom? Where? This one? Huh? This is A, isn't it? Yeah, that is A. The bottom. The bottom. Is this the bottom? This one? Yeah, then you put A. Isn't that also A minus B? Like, doesn't it look? Okay, all right. Here's what I need. I need you to concentrate really hard for this next moment. So I need you to be quiet. Still waiting. We're almost there. Okay. I need you to take a pair of scissors in your mind. Okay? A pair of scissors. You got it? You got it there? With your pair of scissors, what I want you to do is I want you to cut along there. Okay? Can you imagine taking this part over here, this thin part, and just sort of going whoop, off to one side? Okay? 
Now, if you've got this as one piece, remember that's A minus B. What's this leaf over here? A minus B. A minus B. So what I want you to do is now that you've cut that off, is I want you to pick that up. And I want you to move it down over here. Can you take this, pick it up, and move it over here? You can, can't you? Because look, do you see the bit that's A minus B over here? It should fit against this A minus B over here. Do you agree? I've, I've had to turn it. I've had to turn it. Okay, so now this is not here anymore. You moved it around. Do you see it? Yeah. What's this length again? B. So what is this new rectangle? It's A plus B, right? A plus B. Do you see it? 